Welcome back, everyone. We're here in Xanadu, or at least, uh, near the ruins of Xanadu, somewhere. And we're gonna buy a new weapon here from Baggins. Quite tall for a Baggins, isn't he? Anyway, so here's this cleaver. It's got 25 attack, its skill is insight. That will allow us to see uh, the stats of enemies, along with all their elemental resistances and such, which can be a useful thing to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, may as well just sell the old whirlwind and the dagger. We have no use for them now. Uh, hmm. It, yeah, we can't can't upgrade our shield, we don't have the... Ooh... Yeah, we may take the cloth jerkin. It'll be a bit better. In fact, it's twice as good as the robe. Sleeveless undershirt made of cloth, although reinforced with metal sheets in vile locations, its defensive capabilities can't match those of actual armor. Well, of course not. Yeah, every, everything else is fine. We don't really have the stats for anything else. But this is good. Now, it actually looks like we're wearing some sort of tabard. Like a... Well, like an actual knight. Uh, the rest of our money is going to be spent on... Believe it or not, keys. I know of no other game where you spend this much money on keys. Uh, let's see, how much is it? 29. Take that. 20. Good. And just barely, though. Fine, let's, let's buy five. Oh, man, I hope I don't regret this. Okay, put the heal potion in R. So, hopefully, I will not get too cocky. Alright, then. That's that. Let's save. And I'll see you in the Endless Maze. Back to that old room of doors we are. Oh, ah. With these most... fiery slimes. Red slimes, even. Oh, I haven't, haven't actually uh, enabled inside yet, have I? Oh, man. Shouldn't have done that while I was standing so so close. Hmm. Yeah, that still only does two damage to you. Okay then. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Since we'll mostly be fighting the undead, I'm not going to use thrust much. Uh, the undead don't get stunned by thrust. They get pushed back, but not stunned. Put inside there. And whenever we select or see an enemy, we'll be able to see their stats. Like that. See? Uh, minus 10 fire resistance, level 4. And so on and so forth. Well, no, I can't do it here. There we go. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, the red slimes only have 50% fire resistance. So you can still damage them with fire attacks. Oh, that was lovely. Hmm. We need the experience after all. Uh, Sorcerian has leveled up again, which helps. Okay then. Why did I do that? We don't need to do that right now. I won't go down for that. That's just going to be extra gold. What we really want to do is head this way. As we did before. Hi there, skellies. Uh, let's see. Ah, nope. We're only dealing one damage to them. Fine, have that. Get that gold, because it, items can disappear on the map. Let's see, then. Oh. There must be something special here. Aha! Well, 
It's a keystone discus. Precisely what we needed. I'm glad it was located so close to where we actually needed to use it. Ah, yes, if I remember correctly, this is where things are going to get a bit more complex. If the labyrinth wasn't enough of a labyrinth for you... Well, here we go. I think this is the right one. Yes, it is! First sluice gate switch. Pull the lever! That will stop the water flowing... somewhat. So, we can go back to that previously flooded area, and... as we see, we can actually get down there now. But, first of all, we may actually want to go back a bit more... Oh. Oh, oh good block that. Very nice, very nice cane. Very good, very good. Uh, ah, this way. Ah, oh, yes, another heal potion S. So, yeah, we can go down there now, but I want to go down here... ...because I cannot remember what was up here. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Oh, tablature! Quad tablatures Pisces. How do you how do you know? Why are they why are they named after Oh Ah it's the Moonstone Regarding the key item Moonstone. When using the Moonstone you will be returned to town in a flash. There is no limit to the times you may use it. Very, very nice item that. Hmm. Beyond Hmm. I'm kind of not sure whether I want to go this way or the other way now. Come on, blow them all up. Oh well, at least we tried. Ah. Okay, final key. Yep, good. Oh, he'll push an S there. Okay then, well... Tch. Another dead end because we have no more keys. But thankfully, we can now do this. And we already have 511 gold. That's nice. At any rate, we can return these tablishers. <laughs> return? <laughs> I mean, turn them in to Shah. She'll be very glad to get a good look at them. Uh, let's see. She should also be done with uh, those scriptures, shouldn't she? Ah, you've brought me more tablatures to translate. I'll set about deciphering their contents immediately. Memoirs. Yeah, Cattleman's Moon. 23rd, 1210. 23rd day of the Cattleman's Moon. Year 1210. I've decided to attempt the recording of personal memorandums starting today. I've no intention of sharing these private thoughts with others, but after recent introspection, I've been advised that this activity may provide a much needed outlet. Of course, I'm not fastidious or diligent like my sister, so I know not how long this may last. I know only that my thoughts and feelings must be expressed, and herein I shall express them freely. My day began with practice in the black arts, followed by fencing at midday, and capped off with lessons in etiquette during the evening hours. Day in and out, this strict regimen remains unaltered, and I swear it's driving me to the brink. I know, I know, I mustn't dwell. It is not in my intent to focus only on cathartic rants. I must make a point to record the good tidings of my day as well. And 
and if I were to identify what such tidings may be, it is only the praising of my sister that comes to mind, for her joy is my joy. My sister and I are always together, and it often feels as if the bond between us is strong enough to overcome any hardship, no matter the severity. Of course, I could never speak these words to her directly, as it is a rather embarrassing sentiment. No. Oh. Well, let's see, uh, yep, the last one even, the Architect of Disaster. Sounds rather major. Hmm, uh, I think we're going to save up a bit for, well, whatever. Uh, no, no, um, yeah, 500. Take our 511, thank you, Shah. Good, now we don't have to worry so much about dying. Uh, take a look over them and keep their words in mind, I say. Those notes don't really seem that important, though, when compared to what the tablatures say. Two notes as there's some hint in them, too. If you've got the time, it wouldn't hurt to check them over. Alright then. So, that's all we're doing here for now. Oh, wait. I needed that money. Need that money to buy keys, didn't I? Anyway, I'll buy a few keys and see you back in the endless maze. Truly is endless, I tell you. And we're back in our favourite part of our favourite maze. We're going down here this time, as you can see on the map. Going to see up here and get that chest. What's inside? Acquired the Guardian card Durandal. Durandal. Not not Durandal. That's, that's something completely different. Regarding the card Durandal. This Guardian increases the accrual of weapon skills. Due to the speed at which weapon proficiency is increased, it becomes easy to acquire skills. Not really that useful, if you ask me, because I find they're increased fast enough. But it's up to you. Alright. Now we have here another normal chest with some gold in it. That helps. Oh yeah, that's nice. 400 gold. And here, another tablature. Cancer. Ah, oh, wonderful. Now it's just another short trek across here. What's, what's our proficiency? Uh, 16.8. Nice. Good. I'm liking this. Oh yeah. Bonus gold. Oh yeah, 50 gold. Gold will be ever so useful to us in this game, so I welcome it. It was quite refreshing, really, when I played this for the first time and found out just how valuable gold is. Doing a little bit more damage to them. Get that gold, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, just enough. <laughs> perfect, that was perfect. Oh, watch out for those skelly archers. I don't care how many times I need to whack you, it means I'll get more proficient. More proficient at using this cleaver. Bone cleaver, that's what we'll call it. Ah, but of course that wasn't magic. Die. Permanently. <laughs> Stupid height difference. Okay, Sorcerian leveled up. And down here. And we leveled up. Hmm. 
It's kind of funny how the, uh, they're, they're called bones. Mm-hmm. I just realised that. It's kind of funny how the normal bones are, uh, kind of weak, but the actual archers are really strong. Don't worry, at some point we'll be able to, uh, get an enchantment skill for our weapon and that will enchant it with uh, magical damage, so that will do well. Ah, oh, I remember this room. <laughs> this room stumped me for absolute ages. We're not going to do anything here just yet. I want to finish exploring the rest of this place first. So let's start over here, actually. Let's go back and start with one of the previous doors. We only have two keys. This uh, shouldn't take long. Gotta get that proficiency. Oh yeah. 79%. Or 79, wasn't it? Yeah, good. Hmm. I bet this will be a puzzle room up here. Oh, oh I didn't get you. There we go. Need that gold. Yes, puzzle room. Looks like it, at least. Uh, oh, man. Oh, wait. No, I remember this room. This is not a puzzle. But it holds something useful, maybe? See all these crates? Uh, they're, they're not really important. You can just bash them down if you want. Oh. You should... T Come on. Ah. Well, we're probably going to be leaving soon anyway, so let's just use the rest of our magic. Yeah, that was good. Okay, then. Just get rid of a few of these. Okay. And in here... Aha! Yes! It's a flaming scimitar! That is what we wanted. That will help greatly. And we can even wear it right now, but we've almost got 100% uh, proficiency on that, so we'll wait a little bit longer. Skill is Searing Blade. I believe that's the fire enchantment. Very useful here. Well, very useful against all undead, really. Ah. Oh, man. These guys... I think they're a bit uh, stronger. Level 5 skilled in Archer. Because this is a game where levels really, really matter. Oh. Good. Ah, oh, yeah, skill get. Okay. Let's put this on. And put the searing blade on. Oh, yeah. Proper fire. Um, let's see. There were also enchantments for, I believe, ice and thunder as well. You can have all three enchantments active at once. I'm not completely sure, however, uh, if the enchantments actually add damage. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not sure if they actually add damage by themselves. They just, uh, they might just convert the base weapon damage into the elemental damage. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's actually, oh no, that would do less damage uh, to them naturally, because this is, well, it, we're not proficient in it yet. Ah, but what am I doing over here? <laughs> I won't head back to town. We can just use the Moonstone. Alright then. Well, to finish this video off, let's go see Shah. We're out of keys anyway. We can deliver a tablet show to her and read one more. But she's just translated. Ah, oh, you've brought me more tablets to translate. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's see. 
The unblessed bride, is that one? Okay, the architect of disaster. In an ancient time, the kingdom of Xanadu lay above a network of sacred caves in the earth. The Alpha River carved the tunnels and crevices of those caves, ultimately ending with a huge waterfall deep within. Even the great founder Kublai Khan himself enjoyed being by the river's waters. Xanadu was exactly the paradise he described it to be in his writings. And yet, during Giluden's rule, the ambience of those caves changed completely when the Devil Gelsis came to Xanadu. Evil powers likely caused the river to run dry, an ominous stone to rise up, and monsters began to live there. By the end of events, Galsis carried out his rule, overseeing Xanadu from within those caverns below. For the purpose of confounding anyone who dared face him, Galsis ordered the king to make the caves into a labyrinth. The citizens were distraught. The peaceful paradise of Xanadu had become corrupted so utterly, but not a single one of them was able to stand up against Galsis' rule. It said that the labyrinth was designed by the famous architect, Zizen. It sounded as though Galsis had abducted him as well. Zizen played his part well, daily provisions, weapons, and even all manner of medicines were littered about in great number in the caves. Thanks for that part, at least! So great were his talents that he had even cured the king of the time of the millennial slumber. Through great skill and wit, the famous craftsman transformed the sacred caves into a labyrinthine fortress. This labyrinth served not only to protect Galsis, but also to hinder the sword-bearer. It is said that Zizen even built a castle for Galsis, yet I've been unable to determine the validity of those claims. If Galsis does indeed have a castle within that maze, nobody has been able to confirm its existence to this day. However, this architect never again returned to Xanadu. The people thought he took tail and ran, giving him the nickname, the Demon's Artisan. Do you think these ruins here could be related to the traps written here? It's possible. I mean, this Zizen person could very likely have made the labyrinth in ruins. But this part about him never coming back... probably died there too. Ah, I made you some lunch. Please try it. It's bad if you don't get your nutrients after all. Thank you! What kind of lunch is it? What kind of lunch is it? Fried salmon. Lunch at Charmade. Fried fish caught from a well lake. It's a little burnt. That's fine, I'd rather have it a little burnt and a little undercooked. <laughs> like last time. So, that's it for now, everyone. Thank you for watching. Next time, more Labyrinth in Ruins. Game really loves those. Bye-bye.